Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make pretty skirts and hakama in ZBlash. First, you will select Cylinder 3D from the tool palette. Then open the initialize and reduce the top tapper. Set horizontal division to 32 and vertical division 3. Go to Tool and select Make Polymesh 3D. Click Group by Normals under Polygroup. Click Group by Normals under Polygroup. From Transform, enable Symmetry set to Y-axis, R, and make Vertical Count 16. Select the Move Brush and shift every other vertexes. I did it like this. Press Ctrl and Shift to show only the side of the polygroups. From Subtool Palette, select Split Hidden under Split. Erase the top and the bottom. From here, switch to Z Modeler's brush. Unclick Symmetry from Transform. Under Z Modeler Polygon Action, Select QMesh to enable Polygroup All. Under Target, select Multiple Edge Loops. Under Modifiers, select Same Polygroup. If you click on the edge, the polygon will be spread. Switch from Draw Mode to Move at the top of the screen. Click the gear icon on the top left of the gizmo and select Deformer. Increase the white edge points with orange triangular pyramids at the corner of the orange frame. You can mask the white points by dragging while pressing the control key. The masked white points won't move anymore.
It can be deformed with the move brush, but if you use deformer, it most likely not lose its shape. After editing the shape, click the gear icon again and press confirm. If you use the dynamic subdivision, the creases will be too smooth. So, for the creases, go to Z Modeler, Edge Actions, and select Crease and set the target to partial edge loop. Apply the crease to the creases. Using dynamic subdivision once again, it made it even sharper than before. This is the end! Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below. See you next time!